TikTok just released TikTok Messenger ads, and these are gonna be an absolute game changer, I think, for a lot of local businesses or any kind of business, honestly, that's trying to create more leads. I can see these being especially helpful if you are a home service type business because Messenger ads just seem to do really well with those on other platforms like Facebook. So I'm gonna be walking through exactly how to set these up. TikTok actually has two different campaign types with these Messenger ads. You can either do a TikTok direct message, which we'll be talking about, or a TikTok instant messenger app campaign. Basically, the way that this works is when somebody sees an ad inside of their feed, you can see there will be this little button here here to send a message. And depending on how you set this up, you can either have the message be sent directly to your TikTok direct messenger, or you can actually have it be sent to your Facebook instant messenger or WhatsApp, which I think is kind of cool for TikTok to do because basically they're working with their competitor, Facebook to actually helping to send traffic that way. But I think they realized that a lot of small businesses and a lot of businesses in general just already used the Facebook messenger app to communicate with their customers. So this just gives you another channel to funnel more customers into that route. So I'm going to show you how to set up both of these in this video and kind of walk through the whole thing. And the nice thing is TikTok is currently pushing this pretty hard because it is brand new. So there are all sorts of like coupons and offers for trying out a campaign type like this. So be sure to check out those offers. There's a limited time down below. You can check those out in the description when you like create a new account and things like that. So once you do have your account created, you already have a TikTok ads account. In order to create these, what you want to do is come to your campaign tool here and then create a new campaign. And what we're looking for here is lead generation. You can see when you select a lead generation campaign, there's now this option for TikTok direct messages and TikTok instant messaging app. Now with some of these features, I noticed that they roll them out pretty slowly across accounts, but I now have checked pretty much all of my accounts and pretty much all of them have this functionality. So you should have it inside of your account too. Hopefully what we want to do is we want to click on this manual setup here and you can scroll down, give this a campaign name as you need. Now, some of you may be in the special categories in the housing employment or credit. So if you are in one of those categories, be sure to read the descriptions here for those and be sure to check the box to disclose that you are one of those three kind of special categories. From there, we're going to hit continue. And then before we continue on into the actual TikTok direct messages here, you can see this is what we're going to be clicking into TikTok direct message. It is important. One thing to note, you will want to make sure that your business account with your direct messaging permission is set to everyone. So in order to check that, what you do is you come over here to, you log into your TikTok app, go to your profile, go to settings, privacy, direct message, and then make sure you allow all messages from everyone. If you don't do this, then you're not gonna be able to receive messages from everyone. And then it's gonna be a waste of your money. So make sure you set that up for the TikTok direct message campaign specifically. And as I mentioned, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up both of these options. So there's slightly different things to do with them. So the first one is the TikTok direct message. And then the second one is the instant messaging app. The TikTok direct message is a lot easier to set up because you don't have to do a lot of like conversion settings and things that I'll show you here in a minute. So this is the one that I'd recommend you starting with if you're just wanting to test to see if this is going to be worthwhile for your business. So once we have the TikTok direct messaging clicked here, then we can click on the goals. You can do either do clicks or conversations, but I recommend keeping it on conversations. The attribution setting, keep that where it's at. The placements, you can leave that where it's at. And then down here, this is where we get into the actual targeting of the campaign. Now, when it comes to this, we are going to be creating an ad for a kitchen remodeling company. So that is the kind of demographic that we're going to be going for. Now for this, we are going to be probably keep the age and gender. We're going to do ages 25 to 55 basically here. We're going to keep all gender, all, all languages here. And then spending power, we're going to have high spending power set on. All incomes is good. And then here is where we actually have the audiences settings that we're going to try and find basically people who might be interested in kitchen remodels. And if this is your first time using this targeting tool, basically this interest in behavior allows you to type in interest and see if it works with your business. So for us, I'm going to type in kitchen here and we're going to type in kitchen remodel. And you can see actually there's this little interest here for people who are interested in kitchen and remodeling. Basically, this is people who are interacting with kitchen remodeling content might be more than likely to actually go with fill out a form or message me for a kitchen remodeling company. Okay, and now I have this interest of kitchen designs and kitchen remodeling and then the purchase intent for construction and material lighting. If I wanted to make it even broader, I can come over to the purchase intent and then kind of look and see home improvement. Some of these kind of make sense a little bit more. I think the construction and lighting material is probably the best one for me. So we're gonna have that there for our targeting. And then now we still says we have a narrower audience, but for us, I think that's totally fine. We have about, you know, 350,000 here. So we're gonna continue on. Next is the daily budget. Now for these, you do need to spend at least a minimum of $20 a day. So keep that in mind. You will need to run a budget of at least $20 a day. You can run it for one day, you can run it for two days, you can run it for two years. You can keep it going as long as you want. You can also do a lifetime budget here, but I recommend starting with the daily. That way you can optimize it as time goes on. We're gonna have our, our plan start date starting basically today. And then here, this may be important for your business, especially for a messaging campaign. If you only have somebody that can reply to those messages between business hours, let's say 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., then you're gonna want to select a specific date and time and then make sure that this is only going from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then if say you don't run on Saturdays and Sundays, I probably would get rid of Saturdays and Sundays as well to make sure that if somebody messages you, you're able to respond back quickly and uh, actually capture that lead. Just one thing to keep in mind. Now, if you don't have that problem or if you are okay responding any times a day, then you could do all day. But for me, I'm going to leave this basically 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm not very good at military time, but we'll just say that that's about the right there. And then from here, you can set the target CPA. Now, if this is a brand new 
new account campaign, I would recommend leaving this blank because TikTok doesn't have any data. They don't know what they can actually get your cost per conversation started for you. So I'd recommend leaving it blank if it's your first time. If you've run campaigns before and you kind of know what your cost per lead is, let's say that you on TikTok were getting leads around $15, then you could set that around that $15 to get a similar cost per lead. But for now, we're going to leave it blank. Then you come over here and hit continue. Okay. And then this takes you to the actual ad creation. The first thing you will want to do is select the account that you want the ads to come from. Now, if you click down here and you notice that your ad account is blurred out and doesn't have the right setup here. So you have access to a couple different ones where it's get their grayed out. You see the warning that it's giving me is this account does not have permission to use the direct message. You can click setup here and then you can go through and authorize that. You will need to be the business admin in order to do that though. So one thing to keep in mind now here for the TikTok post, this is interesting. I don't know what's going on here, but for whatever reason, sometimes you only get the TikTok post instead of upload video. If you wanted to select a TikTok post, you can come in here and grab one from your current profile. This is just my marketing profile. So I can select one of them here. Or if you wanted to, you could also go to your library and you could upload a video from this point as well. So let's say that I wanted to run with this one and I can select that from the video or upload a brand new video that isn't on my profile as well to run as an ad. So something to keep in mind. I don't know why the standard like upload your video isn't showing up for this ad format. I've noticed that in a couple different accounts, but if that happens to you, that's how you can upload a video that isn't on your profile. And you can see once that's uploaded here, you can add some text. So I just put, get a free quote for your kitchen remodel today. This is just a demo. So we're kind of going through this. And then this is another important step right here is the actual welcome message. So if somebody clicks send message, you want to create a welcome message here. Okay. So you can see here, what services do you offer? If they ask that question, like kind of the predefined one, you can see this is what it looks like when you first get to the message, they can see, Hey, thanks for contacting. And then there'll be a little bubble here with those. And then you can automate that. And they say, we offer many services, including kitchen remodeling, bathroom remodel, finishing basements, and much more. Are you interested in those services? And then they can reply to there. And then from there, you can start actually taking over the conversation and chatting with that person in real time. You can add up to three different questions. So if I wanted to add a third one, I could add that here. Just we'll call this test. And then they can, or that's the automated response. Sorry. This is the question right here. We call this test. They can click on that. It will automatically ask that question and you can add it in there. Now you can also add a form to the conversation so you can get sign up or take them to wherever you wanted them to be inside of TikTok, basically. So there's lots that you can do with this form and kind of customize. Like I said, these are fairly new, so I don't have like a great system for how this would work, but I would definitely recommend having your automated greeting and then giving the customer three kind of common questions that you have automated responses already populated so that when they get there, they feel like they're getting a response immediately because if people don't, then they're just going to drop off and not really interact with your message. So you can see this is what it will look like on their end. Say, hey, thanks for contacting us. How can we help? And then you have the three different options that they can quickly ask a question. If they do ask kind of a custom question, then unfortunately there isn't like an audit can response there. Hopefully that's where you have somebody that's ready to quickly respond to that individual. And the last thing to do is to get publish all here. That ad will officially go live. So that is how you set up a TikTok direct message. Now, if you wanted to set up an instant message or use Facebook instant messenger, then the setup is slightly different. And let me show you how that one works. So what you do for this one is you come to campaign and you create a new campaign here. And just like with the direct messages, you come here to the lead generation and then manual campaign and then hit continue here. I'm going to kind of blow through these settings that we already went through in the previous one. And then here you're going to want to click on instant messaging apps. Then from here, you can click on the goal, either a click or a conversation. Now it is important to note if you do optimize for a conversation, you do have to set up a one of these messaging management tools that TikTok recommends. I will have a full list of these messaging management tools down below. Here's the four that they recommend. I'm not going to be walking through how to set these up in this video. If you are interested in something like that, comment down below and let me know if you want a tutorial walking through how to set up these messaging management tools. Basically, these allow you to have more automation and actually track the conversion down the funnel for these TikTok instant messaging ads. And if you do want to optimize towards a conversation, you will need to have these set up. So we're going to optimize towards a click though for this video, just to kind of walk you through this process. And then here's where you can select the app. So we're going to select messenger, and then it's going to ask for your Facebook page ID. Now, in order to get your page ID, it's actually really easy. If you come to your Facebook page and then you come over here to the about section and then click on page transparency, it will give you a Facebook page ID that you can grab and then come back over to the platform here, enter that page ID in there, and then you are good to go. Now, if you are optimizing towards a conversation, you see, this is how it's going to be a little bit different. If you click conversation, it's going to ask for a messaging event. And right now I don't have one set up and that's where one of these platforms will need to be set and integrated with TikTok in order to optimize towards a conversion. So a little bit more steps, it's not hard to set up. It's just a little bit more steps in order to actually track the conversion. But if you're optimizing towards clicks, then you're totally fine. And you can continue on from this point. We're not going to talk about the targeting because we just talked about that with the other campaign type, because all that is pretty much the exact same. We're going to hit $20 a day here and then keep all this the same. We already went through those settings and then we're going to hit continue here. And then the ad process is a slightly different. So you can see here, you can add your videos or images or create a new one. You can enter the text just like before, and then you can change your call to action, send messages, what I would recommend having. And then here is where there's a little bit of a difference. Instead of actually 
setting up a flow inside of TikTok, you're gonna send them to your messenger for the Facebook page ID that you attached here. And then that is where basically, if you don't have one of these messaging management tools set up, then it's just gonna go to this platform and then you're gonna have to go through and message those people inside of TikTok. So that is how you can get that all set up and publish those out. Hopefully you found this helpful if you are interested in running TikTok messenger ads. I wish I could add a little bit more experience and some of the things that I'm seeing working here, but because these are brand new, I just wanted to create a tutorial that allowed anybody to quickly set this up in case they wanted to try it and get that first mover advantage. Because I do believe with tools like these, if you're one of the first businesses to go through and launch them, it gives you a huge advantage. I mean, TikTok kind of favors those new ad platforms in my opinion. So be sure to check that out. Check out the links down below if you wanted to see what kind of offers they currently have to run these ad types and we'll see you in the next one.